Hello creative designers and welcome on to the story. My name is Peter and on this story we just gonna see how we can be able to rename this add cart button whenever a product has been added to cart. This is how it's gonna work whenever a product is added to cart. It will have this notice that you tell the customer or just notify the customer already in the cart and if the customer want to reorder the product again. Like for instance if I add this one and I, whenever I add and whenever I just add another one here. Whenever I refresh the page, I just have this button that tell the customer the product is already in the cart. When you just go back here on the cart and you decide to remove all the product here, like that, and we refresh our page, you see the notice just disappeared. That's how it's gonna work. It will just help the customer to just know if the product is in the cart and that much hassle. That's the tutorial for today. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we just need to head over to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu scroll now to here, scroll now to here we have the button for the plugin. On Hofa we have this three options, select the second option because we need to install a plugin that will help us to achieve these features. So the plugin is called Code Snippet, here we have it, it is called uh, Code Snippets from Code Snippets Pro. Uh, 7000, hundred thousand active installation, last update is just three days ago, so we installed the plugin. Out of after successful installation of the plugin, we activate the plugin. So here we have it. You can uh, you can select this button here for snippet, or you can just go to the dashboard menu and now this button for snippet. Just select add new because we need to add the snippet that we add this feature. So what you just need to do, we just needed to give it a name like that. And from here, I have included the link on the description. All you just need to do is copy this code and just come back here and paste the code like that. And after that, remember to land the snippet everywhere and save and activate. So now we have it. So I just need to open this in a new shop here or in a new tab. Once I just open it, I can just try with a few products here. I adjust that and I adjust that product and I refresh here. And it's just that we have this notice that tell the customer that the product is already in the cart and if they want order again. With that, if you just wish to customize this text here, all you just need to do is head over back here and online number 11. You just customize this text here in between these two semicolons here and also customize here online number 30. With that, remember to save the changes. Remember to save the changes and that you'll be able to have customized this text here. I hope you did learn something out of this tutorial. If you did learn something out of this tutorial, hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Till next time, thank you.